Well, g'day, g'day everyone, it's Huey back, and thanks for joining us for another episode of Battletech in our campaign playthrough uh, with the Flashpoint and Urban Warfare DLCs. And uh, as usual, we're going to start off by deleting some of these auto saves that uh, the game tends to like to do all on its own. This is uh, from my last uh, playthrough. So, yeah, in the um, in our last episode, we managed to have an Orion. Can you believe it? So, <clears throat> this early on, we've got an Orion and a Black Knight. So that's um, I think yeah, that's my best. Uh, this early on in the game, it's probably my best effort so far. So you know, I'm gonna take it because it's uh, it's a personal best for me. So I'm gonna take it as a win. Um, and yeah, I'm really keen keen to use it. But while I <laughs> while I was out there, you know, today with all my appointments and doing everything I needed to do today, um, mind really wasn't wasn't on uh, the appointment as such, I was thinking about how I could uh, best improve the Orion, <laughs> so, um, I know, that's, that's really slack of me, but, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, it, it really bugged me about the heat management part of it, and, I don't know, I, I think it's a sign that you're you do something too much when you start thinking about it. If I start dreaming about it, then yeah, I know I'm definitely doing it uh, far too often. But, you know, what are you going to do? So, uh, yeah, I'm, I really want to keep the AC-10 on the Orion. Um, I'm not so sure about the double medium lasers. So, I don't know. Um... At the same time, I don't want to compromise firepower too much. The shame is it's only got uh, three missile hard points. So, I don't know. I mean, could go for another SRM, I guess. Replace the, I think it was the SRM 4 I put on it. But anyway, let's have a look and see what we can do to improve it, if anything. So there it is, and let's go to refit. So as I said, definitely want to keep that AC-10. Oh no, it was only two SRM-6s. Oh, okay. Hmm. With that really bad uh, heat efficiency. Okay, but I could probably do away with a lot of... Uh, a lot of, if not all of these heat sinks. If I went for a third SRM-6. So let's have a look. You can go away, you can go away. Um, heat efficiency's gone way up. Okay. So we can remove that. Yeah, it's the same. So no matter what I do, because I'm going to need another lot of ammo. Um, honestly, though... <clears throat> I think I'd prefer the SRM-6s, to be honest, because I can at least do knockback damage at the same time. So let's do that. I uh, don't want to put it there. Let's put one in the leg. That's fine. And that will do. So I won't be always using that uh, AC-10. So let's do it. It's four days. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Uh, anyway, so let's go through the time. That work 
order you submitted is complete. And I don't know, I might take the Orion, I might take the Black Knight. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, let's have a chat with Alexander, because we have he's the only person we haven't talked to yet. How can I help? <clears throat> Commander Wong, welcome to my corner of the command center. From here, I can provide Mr. Oliveira with advice and information whenever he needs it. I want to be a resource for you as well. Keep in mind, in keeping with my role as a restoration liaison, I will give you whatever additional information I can about our campaign moving forward. Come see me after any major operation, and I'll share whatever I can. Oh, okay. I would like to, to, to discuss the state of our war against the Directorate. Things are going well enough, Commander. Our initial attack on Worldry was an enormous success despite the psychological cost of what we discovered there. Still, the Directorate's atrocities have steeled our resolve. I've never seen Lady Arano so determined. Out of curiosity, Commander Wong, what did you think of her speech? I recorded it, you know. The broadcasts are on their way to every corner of Directorate Space. Hmm. Yes, it sounded raw, from the heart. Mastiff would have been proud. Good. That's what I was hoping to hear. The presumption of the authenticity will carry us far. For what it's worth, Lady Arano meant every word of what she said. But the people may not see it that way. Espinosa's propaganda machine will do everything in its power to tarnish our compliments and drag us through the dirt. I can imagine the headlines now. Police and civil servants cut down by weapons of war. Dangerous convicts let loose by a traitor. Endangering nobles and commoners alike. A dangerous narrative. And one will have to counter at every turn. With luck, our people will behave, will believe, <laughs> our people will believe what they've heard in our broadcast over the Directorate's propaganda. But I fear that Espinosa's hardline supporters will be far less eager to listen. If we fail to turn them against the Directorate, we run the risk of an ongoing violence even after we liberate, liberate their home systems. That's why my messages like Kamea's spe speech are so important. But the uh, Espinosa supporters just saw con the conditions on Worldry with their own eyes. You don't think that will be enough to sway them? Some will be moved by our message, yes, but others will continue to embrace the director director's lies. These are people who have benefit benefit benefited from Espinosa's policies. They won't just jump to condemn a, syst a system that has made them wealthy. And they won't want to feel complicit in its crime. crimes. Capturing their loyalty will be a long, hard battle. We won't win it overnight. Oh, if the Directorate is using propaganda, we need some of our own. I think I understand. Sadly, yes. If we're going to win this war, we need to rally the Oregon people, including a percentage of Espinosa's supporters. They have to see that we're, the, we're better than the Directorate, again and again, until our message is impossible to ignore. For you, that means military victories. For me, it means more broadcasts, spin, and outreach. Public opinion is just another battlefield, and I'll be knee-deep knee in the trenches until the day I die. <laughs> okay, so you are new on this crew. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I'd be happy to, but honestly, Commander, I've been so consumed with matters of war of late, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Tell me about you before Kamea's exile and the restoration. A noble scion. Much the same as you are, from what I understand. As a fellow noble, I am sure you already know that more than most about my up upbringing. It was a life of great privilege and even greater expectation. I spent my years invested in academic pursuits, the study of history, mathematics, and statecraft. I strove to excel at every subject, and avoid um, anything to avoid disappointing my mother and father. The extent to which they would come to disappoint me is a cruel irony. 
because, uh, but it is one that I've come to accept. Okay. What kind of expectations did you have to meet? Do you know House Madeira's motto? Behold our splendor? They had a familiar obligation to live extravagantly and to do so with the public eye. But I was also expected to develop my intellect. My life was 50-50 split between carousing and academic study. In truth, it felt like I was leading two lives and putting forth and putting on a show in both. But I'll never complain about my upbringing. I have joined advantages of, that most children of the periphery could only dream of. It must be hard to have your own parents betray you. Oh, it is. Nothing could be harder. When Tamiri takes her home, there will be a reckoning, and the directorate collaborate collaborators will be tried for their crimes. My mother and father will be at the front of that list, and as terrible as it fails to say it, they'll deserve whatever punishment they receive. I am sorry to hear that, Lord, Lord Madeira. Let's talk about something else. Your apologies are unnecessary by any metric you care to mention. It lived a charmed life. The hardships of the past three years don't erase the lifetime of privilege I enjoyed before Espinosa's coup. It would be dishonest of me to pretend that they did. But still, I am happy to change subjects, if you wish. Tell me about Goldra. What kind of world is it? A truly really beautiful one. You should really travel there sometime after all of this is over and see it for yourself. Imagine lush green lowlands giving way to mile upon mile of white sand coastline. Sandy beaches kissed by warm salty seas and a soft rain perfumed with saffron and cardamom. And that's not to mention the wildlife. Close your eyes and imagine it, Commander. Shield turns wheeling and soaring, their brilliant plumage glittering in the sunlight. Leviathan stablefish flashing silver through the waves, dolphin fish leaping, breaching the surface of the water in riotous streaks of yellow and green. Places like Gordra are special, Commander Wong. They must be preserved. This is what we're fighting for, something unspoiled and unique is our and ours. Something that reminds us of how good the periphery can be. Okay, sounds nice. Okay, let's talk about something else. Of course, Commander Wong. What do you need? Oh, actually, I think I should go. We'll talk later. Nice chatting. Bye bye. Always a pleasure. <clears throat> okay, so that was our chat with Alexander. So let's get into the contracts. I think we've only got to do a couple before we can proceed on to the next mission. So. Let's have a look here. We've got a raiding party, which is a battle. Forward observers. Which is a polar battle. It is a two skull. Battle. Battle. And defend base. I don't know if I want to do a defend base. Do I really want to do a defend base? Let's do forward observers. Right, actually, which pays the best? Aggressive intrusion. Aggressive intrusion it is. We're doing highlands. Okay. So we're going up against uh, direct directorate military units. And... Should be fairly straightforward, according to Darius. Uh, hang on. Nope. <clears throat> yep. Let's do it. Ah! Crap! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I forgot to take out the Orion. Oh dear, after all that... Oh well. I guess we're taking out the three medium X again. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Hmm. 
Well, it is a battle, so it shouldn't be too difficult. I can't see it being all that difficult. Ah, oh, but jeez, I can't believe I did that. After that beautiful role playing I just did. <laughs> <coughs> oh, well, mistakes were made. We'll just have to uh, grin and bear it. Alright. This is a straightforward battle, Commander. Nothing we haven't handled before. Finding a military lance in a backwater like this should be no challenge at all. I'll say. What will be a challenge is, um... I stuffed up. Forgot to take out a heavy mech. <laughs> oh, God. And the more I think about it, as much as the heat management sucks on the Orion at the moment, uh... might be better if I take it. Because... Only because, um... Well... It's... Uh... I've I've got the better um, uh, recoil penalty bonuses, so I don't know. Yeah, it is tactics it gives you recoil penalty bonuses, isn't it? Anyway, but um, yeah, I went through all that effort to change change around the Orion, and then just forgot to swap it out. <laughs> What a disappointment. Well, no safes coming here. We'll just have to, uh, you know, be extra careful. Come on, let's go. Yes. Okay. Command interface initiated. We've got him, Commander. Right out in the open. These guys are amateurs. Get eyes on them and take them out. Good hunting, Commander. Oliveira out. Alright. Apparently they're amateurs. I don't know about that. Let's see... Where to approach from? Is that the edge of the map? It is. Um. All right, here goes nothing. On my way. Acknowledged. Copy that. Enemy detected. Okay. Let's just keep going with it. We'll just have to deal with it. Position confirmed. How many we got on this side? Okay, so one on each side of it. You really missed. Come on, it's gotta be my turn. Why did they get a go each? Standing by. That totally sucks. So this is Marsh. Fifty percent stability damage reduction. Okay. So we're gonna head up start heading up toward the forest there, I think. On my way. Alright. It's only 40%, but whatever. Confirmed. Bit of a slowdown there. Okay, he's heading around this way. Interesting. Interesting. 
probably helps me actually. Got another one. Why do they all get a go before? What the hell's going on? Okay. Do I want to jump? Probably not. Alright. Good to go. Let's go with glitch. Moving out. Good hit. Receiving you. Yeah, now we'll go with the marsh. We got sixteen hit points. Well, I haven't tried out the large laser yet, <clears throat> so I don't think I need to use that many SRMs. Beautiful. Might be some good salvage there. Well, this is where I can jump. I think I will. Engaging jump jets. Okay, enemy's turn. We've got a two there. Right, hopefully it's a tank. Nope, it's a 65 tonner. What's that? Is that a 70 tonner? It is. Ready for orders. Oh, I wonder. I wonder. Uh, let's reserve. Holding for tactical advantage. Javelin. Ah, uh, Darius, those aren't directory colors on those units. Unknown mercenary force, you're intruding on joint Torian and directorate operation. Withdraw or you will be destroyed. What the fuck the Torian's doing here? Commander, I think our employees might not have given us the whole picture here. We'll need to engage and destroy the Torian force as well. Well, shit. Okay. Yes, Commander. We'll start with... Well, I guess we start with you. <clears throat> Do we just try and punch through, or... I don't know. No, I think I want to save our resolve, so... We'll just... I copy. We'll just beat him up. Oh, good old Shadow Hawk. Damage minimal. Ah, crap. You guys starting to piss me off. Damage minimal. <clears throat> so I need to get my evasion back. As much as I hate to do it. Commander. 
Alright, time to test out the old, uh... <clears throat> yeah, the old, um... Got it. SRMs with the large laser. Thunderbolt, okay. Nice work. Okay, she can make it up in there, which is good. So who do we go for next? Um, let's do a multi-target. <clears throat> Shot, hit, hit, hit. Need to get into those trees. Barely hit, Commander. And cataphract, oh god. That hurt. I'm under heavy fire. I know. What's up, boss? Affirmative. Okay, this is where we need to punch a hole through these guys. I wonder if we can do it. Uh, probably not worth it. Engaging with target. We focus fire on one at a time each. <clears throat> oh my god. You are kidding. That shot went internal. Oh, behemoth. All right. Yes, Commander. You gotta move next. Um. Okay, so she can reach with those. I think you need to turn this way. Off. We'll just hope for the best. Oh my god. Alright. Here goes nothing. Roger that. Ah oh dear. Well, they had the same idea as I did. Focus, focus, focus. Can't say I blame him. Let's get rid of a large laser. Engaging target. Hits on every outer extremity. Oh my what God. can I do for you? All right, so you block. Yeah. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Well, this is a tough one. This is good. And stay down. Oh, ammo explosion! Thank goodness. Fortunately, it hit a side. Alright. Yes, Commander. I 
I think the best bet is just to keep shuffling around. So let's try and get rid of this, um... <coughs> well, the other Centurion wouldn't be a bad idea, to be honest. Far too much evasion, though. He's easier to hit, so let's do it. Copy that. Oh, you kidding? Gets another center torso hit. For fuck's sake. How the hell? I get I don't even get that lucky. Come on. Ready for orders. Oh, RNG gods are hating me right now. I need to turn completely side on. As risky as it is, I need to do it. <clears throat> him down. It's probably a bit too close. That's fine. She she can face front on. Okay, here we go. A head hit. <clears throat> God damn it. Armor blow through. Internal damage. That hurt. Um, crap, what to do? What to do? Location confirmed. <clears throat> Need to just keep focusing on this guy. Roger that. Sure is probably gonna go for no. I think that hit. Oh, we got a stray shot. Waiting for orders. So what are we at? 62 or 48? You're nearly dead. All right. How about you turn around? This way, then. No. Ah. Oh. It's not what I meant to do, but okay, whatever. Roger that. That hit something good. Commander. Hmm. Moving to position. 
not that lucky. Well, I guess all I can do is... I guess I could attack, but uh, at the same time I've got the two small lasers, don't I? Yeah. That's what they're there for. Engaging physical attack. Good hit. <clears throat> She's in big trouble. So, Good to go. I need to focus down this centurion. Moving to position. Can we get a head hit? Probably not. Let's do it. Engaging with target. Okay. Turn off uh, medium laser. Roger that. Standing by. So that's the left leg. I want to show the right leg. Like that. Fire on target. I uh, beat you up too. That hurt a bit, but I'd rather him shoot at me than at Behemoth. He's pro probably going to take a shot at me. Let's say No, he's going straight for Behemoth. Fortunately, I was turned sideways. Damage minimal. <sighs> Come on, Decker. Commander. You've got a small laser, so it would make sense for you to go in for a melee attack. Like that. <clears throat> One less target. Good to go. I'm going to do a precision strike on him. I'm going to try and get the head. I'm going to try. Didn't get the head. Commander? Glitch. I'm going to be stationary and just try and... Yeah, come on, we can do it. Good to go. Come on, Behemoth. You can make it. Affirmative. 
Only the large laser rage. God damn it. I think I need to turn back around. <laughs> Standing by. Come on, Decker. Just stand there and take it like a man. Roger. That wasn't bad. Receiving you. This is probably going to hurt, but whatever. Locking in all weapons. Alright, we're getting somewhere. I really wouldn't have I wouldn't have minded a thunderbolt to be honest, but what do you do? Can we shoot this? No. Here we go. That's a critical hit. Yeah, I'm going to shoot him from this angle. Can't reach him with this. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, well. Yep, shoot him. Come on, Behemoth. Got past my armor. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Orders? Uh, let's get a bit closer. Because then I can get him with a small laser as well. Acknowledged. Oh, I can get him with a precision strike. I might get lucky, you never know. Giving him everything I've got. <laughs> Decker saves the day again. Contact the restoration rep to find out why we weren't told the truth, weren't told about the extra lands. Let's debrief in orbit, Commander. Mission successful. Alright, so we didn't get the Thunderbolt. Oh well. Man, though, what a colossal screw up that was. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Let's see. 29, 41. That's not too bad. Could have been a lot worse, but it was still pretty darn bad. Okay. So we got enough for another Centurion. Which is nice. <clears throat> but we've got some nice weaponry here. No wonder that hurts so much. You know, I think I'm going to grab it. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I'm going to grab it anyway. And these are, for the very least, they're going to be extra money. So, yep. Pretty good haul, all in all. So, um, yeah, definitely going to remember to bring in the Orion in the next battle. <clears throat> it's a shame you can't have, like, uh, you can set up a default lance, you know, I don't know. I suppose it's not something you'd normally do that often, but yeah. Oh, well, we made it. It was tough, but we did it. So we got two mechs out of this now. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. Yeah. That mech you wanted is back online. So we gotta put some stuff away. Um so let's go to our mech bay. And let's do 
some repairs. I just want to check the armor on these guys. They've both got the same armor. <clears throat> okay. One's got slightly better heat efficiency, which is a Black Knight, actually. Which is funny. Anyway, let's repair this. It's going to take four days because we did take quite a bit of damage. And we're going to put this away. The Locust. And the Spare Centurion. We don't need another one. And actually, you know, the more I think about it, the more I think I probably want to keep the Centurion around. I know, but look, I mean, 920 armor. 920 armor. The Shadowhawk's got like 800 and something. Honestly, I'm better off with the Centurion. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put you there, you there, and you there. So we're going to totally rework the, um, the party. And we're going to not get rid of the Shadowhawk. I'll probably keep it around. I don't know. That's something to think on anyway. But... Now we've got to go and look at our mech warriors because we no doubt would have accumulated enough experience to get some more uh, some more in skills. And what I, one thing I really need is gunnery. No two ways about it. <coughs> Confirm, so yeah, Wraith is now a better gunner. Yes, Commander. Good to go. is still the same. And do we need what? What do we need most? Melee hit. Look, a cold shot bonus. I'm not going to scoff at that, actually. Let's do it. Commander. Decca, you need some more gunnery as well. Well, then again... That's one max evasion. i got to admit, you were really good. <laughs> you did really well in that. Hey, you know what? Actually, we're going to go for gunnery. Because... Yeah. Mech warrior training complete. The cold shot bonuses are no good without good, Receiving a good gunnery you. skill. We still don't have enough for the coolant vent. So that's an issue, but you know, something we can deal with. Anyway, let's have a look at our next contracts. In fact, how much time have we got to go? Ooh, we might be able to squeeze in a very quick one and a half school. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, one and a half skull. Fine. Give me salvage. We'll sell all that stuff later. Okay, so this way I now I have to remember to <laughs> Yeah, and I think yeah, I think I better go on the Orion. The heat management sucks, but I can live with it. How does the Black Knight have better firepower and better heat management? I guess I've got I'm doing a shit ton of stability damage, so it all works out. It's fine. Alright, now we should be dishing out the damage. So sorry about that folks, that disappointment where I was like, yeah, we've got an Orion, we've got an Orion. Uh, don't take out the Orion. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so the armored vehicle, there's going to be a lot of vehicles. Hopefully that comes with a lot of um, rare items. Commander, they also mentioned that target vehicles are currently on deployment with the secondary lance of mechs. You can optionally, optionally destroy them as well, and there's a bonus. I, well, I hope we can get some rare items out of this because that would seriously help uh, our firepower, firepower situation. Possibly a heat management as well. 
target vehicles have been detected in this area, Commander. Move up, make contact, and engage the target targets. Targets. <laughs> Keep an eye out for own enemy mechs as well. Yes, sir. Okay, so where to go, where to go, where to go? Edge of the map here. I guess we're going this way. Heading out. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Roger that. Yeah, Centurion's a tough little bugger. Where are you? Let's go. Affirmative. On my way. All right. <clears throat> That's our first vehicle. If it's nothing we can't handle, should be okay though. Good to go. No, can't reach him. So how about we reserve? Roger that. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Starting to get that frog in my throat again. What are these guys? Is that a Mac? No, it's a vehicle. Oh, I know I'm going to regret this, but... <sighs> Reserve. Oh, okay, I don't have to sprint anymore. Which is handy. Let's do it. <clears throat> Enemy detected. Yeah, I know. It's a striker. All weapons committed. Receiving you. Hmm. On the move. Might have actually been better to put Behemoth in the Centurion, come to think of it. But oh well. Affirmative. You're dead! <coughs> Alright, so that means... Ready for orders. Since Decker can't do much else... Up high. To a sensor. Oh no, you're out of range. What? All right, brace then. What can I do for you? And that's a three. God damn it! Go up here then, because that's a four. Uh huh. Got another one up there. So honestly, that's probably where we want to head <clears throat> up the hill. It's a sixty tonner. So that could be scary. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Oh. Twenty ton max. Really? Okay. All I wanted was that vehicle to come down. Oh. Okay. Can we reserve to the final turn? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay, then. Deco, you're up.
Yeah, that's within range. Alright, looks like we're hitting that one. Lifting off. Manticore. So this has got extra movement. So... But, can't see us. Good. Waiting for orders. Alright, I guess you're hitting first with the... Ready, set... LRMs. <clears throat> Right where I wanted you to move. Beautiful. Is that a heat generation's not? as bad as I thought it'd be. Anyway. <clears throat> Standing by. Roger. Roger. Hmm. That's why we're in a tundra biome, of course. <clears throat> Reserving. Oh, look, look, he's about to die next. Come to join the party of death. I think we're going to go straight in. Oh, wait. We've got this. Oh, that's a Mac, Mac as well. Okay. Alright then. <clears throat> So what are you at? You don't have any evasion at all. But you're guarded. 50... And that's an 80. Oh, you're definitely going first. Blew his arm off. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Good so to go! That's always something. That'll do. Can't believe this took us a whole the lance. Yeah, finally. Hostile removed. Commander. Um, I guess all I can do is take shots at the guarded one. That's kind of rubbish. Yeah, that's all I can really do. Firing. Oh, 
Which worked out okay. I shot every quadrant of, of the mech again, as it's been known to do. Oh, goddamn PPC carrier. Well, oh, there's my timer. So, we've got to finish this up Commander. relatively quickly. Let's get rid of that damn PPC carrier. Moving out. Oh, it's going to hit from the front, too. Alright. <coughs> How the hell did you manage to miss? Oh, Decker. You're doing so well and then you disappoint me. Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. You little bastard. Right. You're dead. But first... I have a pesky issue to take care of. Oh, I did. Okay. Thank goodness. Enemy unit destroyed. <sighs> okay, so that's seventy-five percent of it. Waiting on you, Commander. Um. Let's back up. On my way. I don't think we need... well, maybe I do. Might as well use it on you, actually. Commencing alpha strike. It at least sends you back uh, an initiative Waiting for orders. round, so then we can shoot Moving the out. crap out of the other guy. Oh, okay. Well, we'll do the same to you then. Firing on target. Nice work. One more vehicle. And he's gone and hidden again. Okay. Standing by. Do I want to stand on rough ground? Probably not. But I do want to send him back an initiative phase. So that's what I'm going to do. And, well, I'll probably end up killing him. On it. Tango down. Which also works for me. This might be a panther. We need this tank to come down. Mm. God damn you. Yes, Commander. Alright, so we're going to use Wraith's um, sensor lock. You can actually jump pretty far considering he only has two jump jets. Sensor lock on target. Oh god, right. I hear ya. <laughs> He's gotta go. He has got to go. Fuck, I've got the shot. So 
soften him up a bit. What's up, boss? Oh, okay. You've got a shot there. What, can you? No, you have to jump. Firing jump jet. Which is a shame. So I cannot use bugger all missiles. Yeah, I have missiles. Bugger all lasers. Yeah. Oh well. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Oh wait. Yes, we got lucky. Very nice. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Good job, girls. And as I suspected, goddamn Panther. Well, you're about to die. Can hmm. I have to jump. Which sucks, but Affirmative. It's okay. Oh, I just Missile the bastard. Excuse me. What can I do for you? Oh, you got a clear shot. Um, okay then. Eh. This should be good. Ooh, I see ten. Incoming. Ah, oh, and it was a miss. Even though... Oh, okay, knockdown. That's... That works. Thank goodness for all those SRM6s. Good to go. Ooh, we can use another large laser. I'm gonna do it. Acknowledge. Certainly send them a message, Commander. Mission successful. Alright, well that was meant to be a quick mission. Didn't quite turn out that way. Well, it was relatively quick, I guess. So didn't get too far over time. And it's a little bit more experience for us. Let's hope we get some decent items, which we didn't. God damn it. Alright. Well, is there anything else we need? I was hoping. Um, guess we take a little bit of each of the max. Whatever. That was disappointing. But that means we've got uh, more stuff to sell. If we ever need to. And I think I'm quite happy with the Orion. The way I've set it up. Um, yeah, I much prefer the, the three SRM6s. Um... Look, the la lasers... Oh, there we go. We're ready for uh, the next campaign mission, which we'll probably do in the next um, episode, actually. So before we go, let's have a look and see where that is. And it's only in the next system over. So... Uh, Pan Panzer... So, let's see, contracts. Uh, deliberate House Decimus. Long range fire capabilities. It could prove advantageous on this drop. 
Further details will be provided upon your arrival. I think we need to just jump in and do it. But before we go, let's have a look at our Mac Warriors. And we're in a position now where we can pretty much upgrade anything and everything. With the exception of Behemoth, who could finally get coolant vent. Thank goodness. Training confirmed, Commander. Because that was much needed. And orders. A recoil penalty for you. I don't think you need it. No, we can hold on to that. I hear ya. Melee hit. Don't think you need that either. Not right now. And let's see. Oh, okay. Guts was the recoil penalty, which I do need. So I will be taking that. Mech warrior training complete. All right. So I think we're going to leave it there, folks. And uh, yeah, we'll be in the next episode. As I say, we'll be doing the next campaign mission. So I hope you can join me for that. Until then, take it easy and bye for now.